Hi, you guys. Welcome or welcome back to Maxine Loves Crafts. I'm Maxine, and thank you so much for stopping by today's video. I'm so excited. I have three Dollar Tree DIYs, and I'm really excited to share them with you. So I went to Home Depot, and I bought myself some sample paints. As much as I would love to have, like, DIY or Dixie Belle, I simply can't afford that. So... Um, you know, crafting is very expensive and I'm not complaining. Please do not think I'm complaining. I'm just saying that I will look for a better way for myself to have colors and to be able to, um, still, you know, do some great DIYs. I was concerned, was this going to stick to metal, wood? I am so, so happy with these paints I picked up. As you can see, I have one of these Dollar Tree trays. And this is, I think it's called Sprite Twist. Hang on, let me get the, the um, names of these. It's a really beautiful spring um, green. Like, I just absolutely love this color. And I wanted to make sure I saved this so you guys could see. It only took me two coats to get this um, covered. Okay, it's called... Yeah, Sprite Twist. It's Sprite Twist. So I was thinking that I was going... This is the direction I was thinking, is I was going to make it into a riser, and I was going to use one of my old Dollar Tree calendars. I have so many calendar, calendars, you guys, from Dollar Tree that I've just never crafted with. So I'm trying to craft that stash, ladies. Trying to craft that stash. So as I go through here, I realize none of these are going to fit onto my beautifully painted green tray. <laughs> so I had to completely go with something different, which I'm glad I did because I like this project that I'm about to do so much better. But I just wanted you to see that I tried all of these. They just weren't going to fit. So I have this really pretty um, fabric. The print is, um, I don't know where I got it from. I, I've had it for so long. I just don't remember. But it is got the trucks and it's very spring-like. So I cut it down to like, you know, a square piece that's not exactly very square. <laughs> it's, as you can see, the paint or the, the cut job is not very good. But it's a beautiful, beautiful fabric. So I take it and I'm going to glue it on the back of my Dollar Tree 10 here. And my whole thing is here. Now I'm going to make a pocket for flowers, right? I mean, how much more spring can you get than that? So... As you can see, I'm this, you know, it's too big, right? But I'm trying to get as close to the Dollar Tree 10 as I can because I want it to be real tight and I want to be able to cut the extra off. So, because I don't want to have just all this extra fabric back there, right? And you guys, that, that, uh, <laughs> that tag, I tried and tried and tried to get it off. It wasn't coming off. I've had this tray for so long that... <laughs> simply was not coming off. I heat gunned it. I did everything. Scraped it. <laughs> it was not coming. So, excuse me, thank goodness it's on the back of the, um, of the project because it's not coming off. <laughs> so, I don't want you to just think I left it on there. I really wanted it to come off. Okay, and again, I wanted it to be really tight. And then I took this really pretty blue ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree at Easter time. I said blue ribbon, yellow ribbon. Oh my goodness, <laughs> you guys, yellow ribbon <laughs> that I got at Dollar Tree at Easter time. It's, uh, you know, cute. It goes with the trucks just a little bit. There's a hint of yellow in there. So I feel like it really pops with, you know, it brings out the yellow in there. And uh, what do you guys think of that green? Oh my goodness. I love it so much. I'm so excited. Now, like I've bought those three, I'm ready to go get other colors, but I'm going to use some of these up first before I go buy myself a bunch of other colors. Um, plus I still have some Waverly left. There's still things I have. So, okay. So I've got these really pretty boxwoods and I've got these flowers from Dollar Tree and I'm just simply putting, I cut them all off, you know, so I can have, um, control of where they went. I didn't want them on the one stem, so I cut them all off, 
And look at that. You guys, I love this. I am so glad that it didn't turn into a riser, but it turned into this beautiful hanging floral spring project. I love it. I think it looks absolutely stunning. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. I wish you could see the green paint more. But, you know, when I was going with this, you were going to be able to see it. So, <laughs> it's not what ended up happening. But that's okay. Sometimes it just, you know, you get a happy accident. Okay. Here is the other, other one of the other colors I got. I love mauve. It's one of my favorite colors. This one is called... Let me see if I can get on the light here. It's called... Um, I can't really see. Clementine. Is it Clementine? You know what, you guys? I'll put it in the description box because I need my glasses on to be able to see it. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this beautiful mauve. It's a little dark, but it's still a very, you know, spring color, I feel like. I could have lightened it up with some white, but I really wanted to see what these colors look like, you know, just as they are. It would definitely be a great fall color, but I still absolutely love it. Okay. So this is a um, Halloween round wood, or, you know, wood round, round wood, wood round from, from Dollar Tree. <laughs> the camera comes on and my mind goes, boop, can't speak, can't speak, can't speak. <laughs> so I get it all painted. Now, I was determined to use um, those uh, calendars. I have tons of them and I plan on using them. <laughs> So I found that really pretty love, what did it say? Love is bloomer. We'll see it here in a second. Um, and I am mod podging the whole entire wood round because if you don't mod podge the whole thing, you can see where you've mod podged, right? So it, and it just doesn't look right. So you have to mod podge your whole project. At least I have found so um, I go ahead and then I'm going to let it dry, right? Because I want to do that iron-on method. There you go. Bloom. Uh, let's see. Blooms. Love here. And then down at the bottom it says something else. I can't see it right now because it's blocked. But you guys can read it there. And I'm going to iron it on. This is my new favorite way to get anything. Napkins pictures, rice paper, anything. It doesn't matter. This technique works so, so well. And it takes less time than if you're sitting there with Mod Podge and trying to get all the wrinkles out. There's no wrinkles. It's, I don't know who came up with this, but they're brilliant. <coughs> just to say, brilliant. Okay. So now obviously, you know, it just looked very plain. I could have put some, you know, floor on it, but I thought I'm going to take these wood halves, this wood, this bead halves that I've had for quite some time, and I'm going to put it around the whole entire picture here. Oh, I'm really happy with this. Um, and then what's, you know, I'll obviously use it for spring and summer, most likely this picture. And then right around September, I'll turn it around and I'll use the other side for Halloween. August, September, when we start doing Halloween. So it's the perfect double-sided sign. I hope you guys will tell me, out of the two colors I've showed you so far, which one is your favorite? and Or do you like them at all? You know, but um, these were uh, $6.98 each. So I spent, um, you know, $21 for three rather than $25 plus shipping for one. <laughs> Okay, um, look at that, you guys. Isn't it so pretty? I absolutely love it. I'm really happy with this project. Okay, and the name of this paint is Cab Cabernet. It's Cabernet. That's what it is from, uh, I think it's Bear that I got. At, I'm pretty sure it was Bear. Yeah, that's the color that I got. Or the paint brand, rather, at Home Depot. Okay. Now I have these thrifted um, blocks, okay? But again, I've got my calendars. And so I went through, I've got calendars from 2019, 20, 21, 22, 
and 23. Have they? I don't think they've came out with the 24 ones yet, have they? Or maybe I have the 24, not the 23. I, something's missing out of all those years. One year's missing. Um, so I think I'm going to do a giveaway soon to get rid of some of them because I really still have... Remember that original farmhouse one that, you know, everyone absolutely fell in love with? I feel like the first one that really made us notice Dollar Tree calendars. I have some of those too. So I think I'll do a giveaway here real soon. So we, as soon as I count how many I have and you know what I can give away. Okay. So I'm just using my Waverly chalk paint because, um, it is, it's a moss and I just wanted a deeper green for these. I didn't feel like that, that really pretty bright green would work with these. So I use the moss I get them all painted front, back, top, sides. It takes two coats to cover them. So I, I really think this comes out cute too. I do a little something extra to a couple of them, which you'll see here in just a few minutes. I don't just, um, you know, well, I mean, basically I'm painting and putting the little squares on there, but I'm also gonna put a, just a couple extra things at the end to kind of make them stand out a little bit more. So I cut out several because I wasn't sure what I was gonna use, but once I got them all cut up, these were the ones that I really liked. I did the, the B one on the very end here on the left, that's round, you know, I cut some of them tall, some of them sideways. I just wanted them to be in all kinds of different directions. Now, those two trucks are probably my favorite. Um, yeah, they definitely are my favorite uh, trucks from there. <laughs> you see that in the right-hand corner? My my son just showed me his Bath and Body Works stuff that he had gotten in the mail. And I was like, I'm right in the middle of recording. He's like, oh. <laughs> he didn't know I was recording. But you could only see it for just a second. Okay, so I'm going to get them all, you know, Mod Podge on. Now this, I didn't feel like I wanted to use that technique. These were really small. They didn't wrinkle on me at all. Maybe it's because the calendar paper is so thick, because I got these off of the back of the calendar, you know where they are. And it's a very thick, tight paper, so. Um, yeah, I didn't need to, you know, iron it or... I don't know. There just wasn't any wrinkle. This mason jar is really cute, too. I do like that. Um, I do like the bike, too. I also like the, I like them all. It's just the two trucks are my favorite. Um, I know that, you know, the trucks have kind of been worn out, but I still really like them. But I don't like just red trucks. I like all trucks. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm getting them all Mod Podged on, as you can still see. Okay, now I thought, what extra can I do? You know, so this one here, I put the little B on the right-hand corner and a flower at the top. The bike I put, these are Dollar Tree flowers, Dollar Tree bees. Um, this, you know, I try to use as much Dollar Tree in here as I can. And uh, I felt like I, you know, I was pretty good at it. Here they are on my shelf. I just think they're so cute. I have this one shelf now where I put all of my um, Dollar Tree DIYs. And I'll tell you, <laughs> that, that shelf's getting so full lately. I'm having to move it around, move stuff down, move stuff up because it's just so much. You guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I would appreciate a big thumbs up. I love you guys so much. Yay, 2,700 subscribers. You guys rock. I'll see you on the next one. Happy crafting.